Many Australians currently are grappling with the question, what is going to drive economic growth in the years to come? For Australia to realise its potential, we need to unlock a new wave of economic growth. To achieve this, we need to better understand and capitalise on the vast diversity that exists at the local levels of our economy. We have sought to answer these questions from the bottom up, mapping economic output for 2,214 locations across Australia from 2001 to 2014. With forecasts out to 2030, here's what we've found. Australia's economic growth is concentrated. Close to one in five dollars of Australia's national income comes from just 10 locations. And economic activity is fragmented. Last financial year, the Australian economy was growing at 2.5%, but in fact, over one in three locations across Australia were actually in recession. In 2004, it was only one in five. Business and government continue to make critically important decisions about specific locations in a very uncertain economic environment. In fact, Last year, business and government invested close to $350 billion in specific locations within Australia. We improve the accuracy of these decisions with GEM, a lens that captures the inescapable macroeconomic, social and industry trends which shape our country. This is the economy of Sydney mapped through our new lens. This area produces nearly 20% of Australia's economic output. On top of the economic output data we have created, we layer in our transport infrastructure data and see economic activity rippling back from the CBD along these key road and public transport arteries. Colours represent the economic output and the height of the bar is not a building, but rather the density or concentration of output. Now let's get a more granular picture of what is driving the performance of specific locations, such as Macquarie Park, for example. Using PwC's GEM, let's add in all factors that drive growth, starting with critical economic infrastructure, such as universities and hospitals. We then layer in additional public transport through a new rail line, retail and banking data to see where customers are travelling. And finally, let's overlay future population growth projections to understand which locations are strategically placed to grow. PwC's GEM will clearly identify the locations that are performing strongly and the ones that are lagging, enabling you to tailor growth strategies, policy initiatives and business investment accordingly. Grasp the growth opportunities that come with making decisions based on true data-driven insights and forecasts. Answer your most challenging questions with PwC's GEM. To find out more, visit pwc.com.au slash gem.